you were when you were in Alaska, your dad gets addicted to drugs and then you Oh, not Alaska. He left. My he mom left. drove us from Mississippi to Alaska after my dad left. Oh, he left in Mississippi. He lived in Mississippi. He got into like Mississippi meth. Oh, it was shit. just like dirt dirt meth. How's he doing now? He's dead. Oh. Uh he died last year. Uh oh, that's well he I mean whoops sad. No, he I mean he was a <laughs> A fat meth head. What are you going to do? Which that's why I didn't know when he was doing meth. Because it's like, what are you eating the meth? How are you fat and doing meth? That's insane. So you come by your country music, honestly. No. Yeah. No, it's I I have had multiple people go. Your life is like a country song. So I was like, well, fuck it. I'll just write one. then. Do you remember driving to Alaska? I remember parts of it and hating my mom the whole time. Why? Because I was just so I was in sixth grade and in Mississippi, the town I lived in, that's you start middle school and I was just like making friends with the cool kids. And, you know, it's just such an awkward time. Yeah. And now we're in a car for 13 days, 13 days with my mom, who I love. We have a good relationship now. She was a just recovered alcoholic who was very mentally ill, just on caffeine pills, 12 hours a day. Like it's an adventure, kids. Oh, my God. Yeah. We like spun out on an overpass in Oklahoma and I we, like had to get the car towed to a place and I was like crying in a gas station. Like, I'm just going to stay here. Like it was a nightmare. And you you have a brother. I do have one older brother. Uh, my mom ended up remarrying in Alaska. And so then I got two younger stepbrothers, but it was me, my brother, my mom, just, she's like the, to the great North. And I hated cold weather. All I remembered from Germany was being sat in the snow and going, ah. Oh my God. <laughs> it was, Oh, it was hell. <laughs> So wait, so how long did it, how long before you started enjoying Alaska? It took a long time. Uh, Cause you, at that age, you don't really have any perspective for how beautiful it is. No, it, you know what? I didn't, I knew I was like, yeah, it's beautiful. I didn't appreciate the beauty until this year when I went back. Are you serious? Yeah. Like I was like, it's nice, but I finally went on. I think it was like, I had to get far enough removed from my own like family trauma, anger that all happened there. Yeah. To it's, appreciate it. But it's, there's nothing like it. I want to There's nothing there. like it. You see bald eagles all the time. Just everywhere. Or like bears and moose just out in nature. I, I, when I, the first time I ever went to Alaska, and I think I've been there, I think I've been there a few times. You should go back. I wonder how many times I've been to Alaska. They'd make I'd you be able king. to tell you. I'll be able to tell you. <laughs> I, just, I love a fucking iPhones are so good with a guy like with bad memory like this because I don't my fucking memory is shit and and <sighs> I and I and I and which isn't great for a guy who tells stories. No, I fu- mine already is. It's like already gone. It, but I think the iPhones help, but also probably contribute to it. <laughs> probably, but what I do is I go to the maps and then I can go to Alaska. I have twenty five pictures in Alaska. Whoa! Looks like I've been once. <laughs> Were you there before iPhones? Uh, no. Oh. I was there in 2000, September of 2013. Dang. Um, you did Chilkoot Charlie's then? Yeah, here's a picture of me at Chilkoot Charlie's. Well, that's not me, but that's Chilkoot Charlie's. Oh, that is definitely Chilkoot Charlie's. Yeah. It's just and two then, drunk women and then, uh, in lights. <laughs> and those are a picture of my balls. Well, that's Chilkoot Charlie's too, probably. God bless Alaska. <laughs> yeah, Alaska is so fucking beautiful. <laughs> we got off the grid. Um, we took these jet boats up uh, <sighs> up a river for like five hours and got off the grid. And were you there in the summer? In September, I was there in September. Oh, great! So it was it was a little cold. I think it's and just starting. It's like right before it dumps. Yeah, and it was, wait, how long did you live in Alaska for? Uh, I got there in sixth grade, and then I graduated high school at seventeen. So, like, I don't know, seven, six. So you lost your virginity in Alaska? Oh yeah, on a waterbed with NASCAR sheets, hopped up on Benadryl. Yep, hopped up on Benadryl. No, it wasn't like recreational. It was (laughs) the guy had cats, and so I took a Benadryl, thinking this will help my allergies. Nothing. Now that I'm saying this, it's kind of problematic that I was like Benadryled out while my boyfriend was like, "I'm deflowering you" or whatever. It was like thirty seconds of me being like, "Oh." All right, well, this is fun. What did he what did he say? <laughs> Take that, you pig. <laughs> <laughs> Take that dick, you filthy pig. Take that dick, uh, you filthy pig. <laughs> and I was like, he's the one. You get me. He drove a purple Astro van. What a character that really? guy was. Yeah. Do you ever do you follow him on Instagram or on Facebook? Oh, no. you know what? We're Facebook friends. This is this is crazy. He stick around. He got in a really bad uh Snow machine accident. Snowmobiles is what people who aren't from Alaska sleds, call them. Sleds. Yeah, so yeah, sleds. Sled necks. Those are like, oh, that was a show yeah. they tried to do in Alaska. I'm like, those are like, those are literally my friends. Um, 
got ended up in a wheelchair. But then I met up with him a couple, like not too long after it. I just was like, oh, let's have lunch or something. He got out of his car and like, you know, helped himself to the back and pulled out the wheelchair. And I was like, oh, you're learning to walk again. And he was like, yeah, but, you know, I get like more attention from girls when I'm in the wheelchair. And now he's like always in the wheelchair. And it's been like 10 years. Oh, wow. <laughs> so people are crazy. 